Alright lads and welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager 2020. This is part 9, hope you all enjoy. In this episode we will be playing two games, last game of the season away to Hamilton and the cup final against Rangers. And since you were last here we lost to Manchester United 1-0 and got put out of the Champions League since then. Conceded one goal, won every game except one where we drew now now. So pretty much same as usual in Scottish football. If you have a look at how Manchester United have been getting on, let's have a wee look. So they're through to the Champions League final. They won the Premier League and they're in the FA Cup final. And if you take a look at the Champions League, where is the thing to the filter? Just Champions League. All of these are filter Champions Cup. There. So if we have a look at this, as you can see, where's the, the date? Let's start it like this. So uh, all the, we actually came closest to beating them out of everyone. Bayern lost 3 1 to them and then drew 2 2. And then Atletico Madrid got beat 3 0 and then drew 0 now, now. So I don't think the team's a million miles away. I think we just got a pretty hard draw. And we got unlucky. Uh, I think uh, we could add a couple of players in here, and we are not too far away from obviously the winning it. But the thing is, with Celtic, if we have a look at the finances, we've only got a million pounds in the bank. We've expanded the stadium up to 75,000. That should be completed around the middle of July. So there's that. That's good at least. We've got 121 million that we can spend. But we're going to have to sell players to, to sort this out. We're going to need to sell at least a couple of players, especially considering that I definitely want to add a left back to the team. And I've actually already signed them. If you have a look, I'll show you who it is. Senad Velajic from Roma. We're getting them for 47.5 million, 16 million up front. If we have a look at his scout report, he's better than, he's better than what we've got with the potential to get even better so we had to we had to go for it it's the first left back we've seen that could even nearly improve the team so we had to take him even though it was big money matt walker we're signing him from from kilmarnock as well young scotsman plays right back because the idea is that we're going to get rid, rid of pag pazaglia in the summer and we're also going to get rid of michael bilbao in the summer their contracts run out at the end of next year so we probably won't get top dollar for them but we'll take what we can get anyway let's get into the first game Hamilton away should be three points but the, gets, the season's already over so it doesn't really matter all that much we're going to start with Odson Edward up front we might sell him he's wanted by Leicester so if the offer is a decent amount we're just going to take it because he's not been setting the world on fire the way I had hoped he would so I think if we get about 30, 35 million for him, we should be able to buy another player that's better than him. It was nostalgia. Nostalgia was the thing that made me buy him. I wanted him because he was so good for us before, but he hasn't been amazing. Right, so what do we want to say? They're second in form. But let's just go out and continue the way we left off in the last game. And hopefully that results in us getting the win. I've changed the tactic a little bit. I should have probably went over that, but I didn't. I'll show you before the cup final. Ahmed Tekin, 1-0. Dangerous from these set pieces. Gomez has been deadly from them this year, setting up and scoring a few from set pieces. Well done. Nodded down by Clavijo, who we got to sign a new contract. He's got a four-year deal now, so we don't need to worry about leaving him. We signed up Jadar Eduardo to a new deal, so we've got him. But we're going to need to sell some of these players to to keep funding Celtic. We just don't make enough money any, any other way. It has to be Champions League or sell players. The league doesn't pay you anything. Hayago Almada to make it 2-0. Normal service resumed. I think I want to bring in someone to play in the centre of the park with Eduardo and Sergio Gomez, another five-star player, even if we need to break the bank. So we're going to need to make room for that. Happy with the centre-backs. All of them are great. 
right back, left back that are hard to get, but if one comes up that's amazing for a price that we can pay, then you have to believe that we will be taking snapping that up. That's why we're sitting with all the money in the bank, is just waiting on the right players showing up for the right price. <sighs> Fort Hamilton had found a way back into the game there. Let's go attacking. See if we can get some more goals. They're all looking uninterested. Let's demand more. Edouard, is that a penalty? Romero's going to be hitting it. I think he might have missed two this season. Right, buries that one. 3 0. Good stuff. Good stuff. 29th goal of the season. It's out of him and I think that's him on equal goals with Robert for top goal scorer. But Robert has went off the boil. He's went right off a cliff with his form. So we want to bring on Sandy Ferguson. And we want to bring him on for... Well, we want, we want to take off the right mid. Is what we want to do. Anton and Robert, you can come on and play on the right wing instead of Romero. Who else? Pizzaglia, you can come on and play right back just to try and get a bit of match fitness in you. And that will do us for the last 20 minutes. Keep us up in case we get an injury or something like that. But I think I don't see it. It's plain sailing from here pretty much. Dominating possession. Here's Patterson, the Hamilton goalie, kicks it long. Watts has brung that down. Should have never been able to do that, but Ryan Pardew Rockies touches around the post. Just getting giving Ryan a, a run out. He's been a good servant, he deserves to play games. He just won't play in the biggest games when we've got Hugo Afonso sitting there. He can come on and play as a backup or in obviously games like this where it doesn't really matter all that much what happens in it. 3 0, easy, takes us over the hundred points for the season. Can't really grumble at that. Well done, lads. Good win for us. So the next game's obviously got to be against Rangers. And that's their last chance for Silverware. Well, let's see the final league standing. How did it how did it finish? Celtic on 102 points. Rangers have actually came third behind Hearts, so their manager should be getting sacked, I think, definitely. St Johnston went down, only won two games all season and drew three and lost the rest. I think we beat them 8-0, 9-0 a few times, so they they deserve to go down. And Hamilton miss out on a Europa Cup spot. Unlucky for them. I think is there only... Those guys must go into Europa League and us, Hearts and Celtic, go for the Champions League. Okay. Well, I'll skip to the Rangers game now. All right, lads. This is the team that we're going to put out there today to try and bring us back the the Scottish Cup. We're going to start in goals with Afonso, centre back Godfrey and Clavijo. Then we're going to go left back Greg Taylor, right back Naldo. As you can see, I've changed the formation a bit. So we're now playing Greg Taylor on the left and Naldo on the right as wing backs. We've also dropped the attacking midfield in here, so that the, the plan was basically we just want to completely dominate and play total football. And I feel like having the three midfielders in this tight formation like this, with the two wing backs supporting and the, these two guys playing as inside forwards, it just gives them a lot of options to, to keep the ball moving on the ground. So we're looking to basically dominate every game that we play so that is going to be the goal we're just going to keep adding players to the team until eventually we can dominate the best teams like including man united real barca anybody we're just going to keep doing it adding the quality until we've got a team that can outplay anybody so we're going to start off with this tactic seems to be working well since we changed to it so hopefully that continues today against rangers where we're going for the treble after winning the Betfred Cup and the league already. And then it's all about next season, bringing in the players that can hopefully push us a bit closer to that Champions League trophy. And obviously our players are gaining experience in the Champions League every year, so obviously the more years that we just keep in there adding quality, we'll eventually have to break through and start getting into the later stages, which is obviously the goal. So let's see 
if we can pick up the treble here today. I expect nothing but a win from this match. Mm. If our favourites for a reason go out there and make sure that they're left in no doubt as to why. Let's go and do that. Show them who's boss. We'll start to be Greg or up front. We'll see if we've got faith in him. Do you know what? I think we'll faith it up for everybody. Right, let's hopefully we get a good result. There's me. And there's the guy that is going to get fired. For coming third in the league with Rangers. 84% possession at the start. Obviously it doesn't really count for anything too much right now. But still good to see that we're just dominating from the start. Two shots, two shots on target. Still no nothing that the game feels that we need to see. Right, let's get demand more. And it's been all Celtic but nothing clear cut yet. Here we go. Clavaggio. Gregor. Long range with his left foot. Poor effort, but at least he's trying something. The player ratings seem to be in our favour. A couple of the players are looking nervous. Half time now, no. No real highlights. Let's get. I'm far from pleased from what I just saw from this team. We should be doing better. I think we're going to bring on Anton and Robert on this right hand side. Uh, give them, give them five ten minutes, just in case it's extra time and stuff. We don't want to use our subs too quick. Almada on the left hand side has made a lot of mistakes today. I think that's the sign that we'll bring on Alfredo, play him as a winger. See if he can give any more joy going down the outside. Sixty five minutes gone. Gregor's not having a great game up front. Who do we want to bring on here? Anton and Robert has been the... He, he, he's good to come on, on the right wing. I think we're going to bring on Odds and Edward just now. Play him as the advance forward. Hopefully he pays off the, the big price tag and gets us a goal here to win the cup. Let's go more attacking. Let's demand more. Eight minutes to go, we're going to bring Anton and Robert on, on the right hand side. Hopefully he can salvage something. He has went way, way off the boil. And the only reason he's got the top goal scorer is because he's had a couple of games where he scored five goals. He's been very inconsistent, which means I don't really want to put all my eggs in his basket. Don't let this slip away from you now. We've been the better team. And we don't let it basically don't let him snatch it away from us in extra time. Starting off with a highlight, here's Alfredo doing that left hand side. Beats his man, crosses it, and turn and Robert! He's so good at coming on playing on that right wing. He's done it so many times for us. And yet again, he does it in a big game. Doing the wing. Alfredo beat his man lovely, Robert. It's just the quality that we can bring off the bench. Like, any of these players that are in our team would start for every single other team in the league. Gomez switches it. Alfredo crosses it. Robert! Thought he killed the tie off there. I hoped he had at least. Let's, let's drop it back down to balance now. Since we're in extra time. Oko Flex used to play for us. There's a penalty. He's given away a penalty and Big Edward. Is he going to be a hero or is he going to be a villain? Hero it is. And Celtic clinched the treble. There's no coming back from this now. There's no way. 19 shots to their one. So it's been total domination. Start setting to half the extra time. Their heads are dropping. And it's game over. Sergio Gomez is looking exhausted. Don't blame him. He has put a shift in. Player of the year, Sergio Gomez. I'm quite sure. 
he's been different class. We'll be lucky to hang on to all of our good players again. Every transfer window. And there we go. 2-0. Nice. We'll take that. Treble. Another trophy in the cabinet. And another another year on towards marching towards this European Cup win. Tell the lads that they have played very well indeed. There you go. Well done, lads. So let's just have a look and see if there's anything that we need to cover. Send assistant. So we get 90 grand for winning that. Like we got 2.4 million for winning a group stage game in Champions League. We get 650k for TV money. Meadows for the lads. None of this really matters. Robert. So, in the next episode, we will do a season review and uh, we will go through the transfers that happen both in and out leading up to the start of the next season. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.